$5.6 million from the federal government will be used to fight the opioid epidemic, which mostly comes from medical patients' addiction to prescription painkillers. The grant will be used for treatment and prevention programs. Medical providers' education, data collection, and the medicine, naloxone, that can be used by medical personnel to effectively stop a heroin overdose if given at the right time. Funding would come from the Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Businesses may get a tax break if they help their employees pay for child care. Nevada Democrats are sponsoring a bill that would let companies get a discount off their annual state taxes for half the amount of aid they give to each worker, up to $5,000. The program would hire another 104 new employees in the state welfare and tax agencies to manage the program. It would cost an additional $6 million annually. 200 bills that have been under consideration in the legislature include some regarding women's issues. Assembly Bill 113 would require businesses with 50 or more employees to provide a place that is not only private, but also clean for women to express breast milk. It passed 33 to 9. Senate Bill 253 would outlaw businesses with 15 or more employees from discriminating against pregnant women. The reason they picked 15 or more employees, according to the backup, is because federal law has set that standard. Senators passed it unanimously. Assembly Bill 249 it would require the state plan for Medicaid and all health insurance plans to provide certain benefits relating to contraception, including receiving a year's supply of birth control to women. It passed 40 to 2. Senate Bill 11122 would establish a public-private revenue stream for family planned clinics. It passed 12 to 9. The bills moved to their opposite chambers. Senate Bill 371 is being considered in the state House, it would require corrections officials to ask Nevada jail and prison inmates what they would want to happen to their pets while they're behind bars. The piece of legislation aims to ease the burden on local governments that must pay to care for those animals. Currently, officials are not required to ask inmates their preference. Pets could be spared from euthanasia if inmates point officers towards a friend or family member willing to care for them. Right now, local governments are responsible for boarding or euthanizing animals found at inmates homes. Nye County has spent as much as $300,000 in one year to impound inmates' animals. State senators passed the bill unanimously. The NFL draft is coming to the world-famous welcome sign on Saturday in Las Vegas as Raiders representatives and special guests will make picks in the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th rounds from the iconic Las Vegas landmark. While the welcome sign will remain open during the pu to the public during the event, the parking lot will be closed from midnight to 6 p.m. on Saturday, April 29th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.